Hey, hello there, guys. What's up, you ready? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how was your day? I am good. It's all good, all good. Very good, teacher. All right, nice to, nice to hear that, nice to hear that. Thank you. All right. Uh, what about you, David Leonel? How are you, man? It is a good, thanks. You, what about you? Good. You're all good, man, all good. Just hanging there. What about you, uh, Eduardo? No good, man? Everything is fine, thanks for asking. What about you? It's all good, man, all good. Mauricio, what's up, man? Can you hear us, Mauricio? Fine, teacher, and you? Um, great, man, great. So tell me, guys, what have you done today? Um, Something interesting? Today was uh, uh, doing class online. Okay, you were teaching. You were teaching online. Yes. All right. Do my favor. Turn on the cameras if you, if you got one. Right. Oh, that's okay. cool, man. Uh, so what are you teaching? I think it's you told me math, right? Is it math? Is it math that you're teaching, Mauricio? Right, Mauricio, can you hear me? All right. Um, what about you, uh, Fatima? How are you, Fatima? Thank you for coming. How was your day? What do you do? Well, I have been practicing my English because I want to improve my pronunciation. Nice, nice, nice. So what part of, uh, like, what, what exactly have you been doing to practice your English? Well, I'm trying to meet some people. You have to meet some people? Yeah, I don't know. How can I say imitate? Oh, imitate. All right. Imitate, yeah. Oh, you're imitating some people. Okay, got you. Jose, welcome, Jose Moises. Jose Moises, nice to have you here, Francisco. All right, guys, do me a favor. If you have a camera, remember to turn it on, right? What's up, guys? Uh, Francisco, how are you? How, how are you holding up? How are you holding up? How, how are you holding up, uh, Francisco? Guys, when somebody is sick, all right, and they, uh, you think they recovered, or like you want to ask, like, how are they doing in regards of their, their health? It is how you holding up. If you want to be like informal, right? But uh, you can say, how are you holding up? Okay. So, Francisco, how are you holding up, man? All right, Ineda, thank you for coming, Ineda. How are you? I'll need yourself, Ineda. Ineda. Good teacher. Nice, nice, Thanks. nice, nice. All right. So we're good, guys. So welcome, guys. Welcome, welcome. I hope that you're having a great day. Thank you for joining early, guys. Today we have to finish. Well, we're going to, um, we're almost going to finish section number four today, guys. All right, um, we got plenty of time. We're just we're just in time, uh, guys. Before we proceed, who finished who finished the um, the whole midterm or who's missing? Right, tell me who did not finish the midterm, guys. Me, coach. I mean, me, teacher. Did you all finish the midterm? Yes. Yes, yes. yes I finished. Yes. Okay. Yes. Very good. Very good. All right. Yes. Again. All right, really good, guys. All right, guys, so, well, let's get started, all right? Uh, really easy topic for today, guys. Not a biggie. Yeah, cool. Hold on. Grammar focus. All right, guys, so there is something. Um, we're going to learn how to use have and get interchangeably, meaning that when they have the same meaning, okay? All right, so when we want to get something done, we can use have and get. All right, help me read. Um, Aneda, let's go. First one. 
uh, have ah, act, active. Yes. Do you know where I can have someone fix my bike? Very good job. Okay, all right. I'm going to explain you why the example is the way it is, but notice something the highlighted words, guys, right? Have plus what is this? Someone. Okay, all right. But you can change this. You can you can say, uh, do you know where I can have an aid that fix my bike, for example, right? So in this case, we're going to use someone, right? All right. Anyways, continue with the second example. Moses, go. You can have hassle personal service. Fix your bike. Very good job. Okay, everyone. You can have, repeat, guys. You can have. You can have. have. You can have. Personal services. Fix your bike. Hastel's personal service. Hastel's personal service. Personal service. Personal service. Personal service. All right. What is the someone? What is the someone in this sentence, guys? In sentence number two. What is the someone? Hazel's. 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 Personal service, guys. This whole thing, guys. This is personal someone. services. Good job. Okay. Uh, example number three. Me, teacher, right? <laughs> Francisco. Let's go, Francisco. You can get a repair shop to fix your bike. Very good job. Where is the someone here? What is the someone here? Repair shop. Repair, repair, repair shop. shop. Good job. The repair, repair shop. shop. Repair shop. Here, okay? All right. So what do we use have or get for? What do we use it for, Veronica? Mm -hmm. you, all right. Just read. Yes. I just joined at the class. Oh, okay, all right. Oh, you don't have the screen? Okay, don't worry. Um, Fatima, what do we use have or get for? It is use have or get to describe a service performed for you by someone else. Okay, very good job. Now, let me ask you something, Mauricio Enrique. What is the form of the verb that you got in this sentence? Is is the form basic? Very good job, everyone. Base form. Base form. Base form. Base form. Base form. All right. So you got it in base form, guys. Okay. So far, so good? So far, so good. All right. We're going to see the structure later on. All right. Now. All right. What about, what about the passive form? Guys, when you talk about the passive form, it is basically not the base form, right? So in this case, it will be past participle, right? Let help me read the first example, um, Arturo. Yes. All right, help me with the first example. Go. I see the second example. Yes. Uh, do you know where I can have my back fixed? Good job. Okay, now remember. So this, what is the difference between this sentence? And these sentences, guys. Francisco? Uh, uh, the verb is the uh, first one in the active, you have the, uh, the base form of the verb. Exactly. And the passive voice, you have the um, simple. past participle. Right? The past, past participle, participle. The past participle, guys. So the passive is the past participle, participle um, the past participle <laughs> form and also, the structure changed because now the so the um the object becomes the object subject. of the sentence does not go at the end, right? Now it becomes the subject, correct? Okay, good job, good job, man, right? Good job, right? Uh, example number two, uh, Francisco, pick someone who has not participated. Go, uh, Veronica. Veronica, let's go, Veronica. In the in the passive form. Yes. Um, you can get your bike fixed at a repair shop. Okay, all right. This should be it. Should be this one. Go. You can have your bike fixed by Hazel Personal Service. Okay, all right. Everyone, you can have your bike fixed. Everyone, fixed. Fixed. You can have your bike fixed. You can all right, very good. Bike fixed. All right, super good, guys. Any questions so far? Or so far so good? No questions. All right, very good. Very good. So 
So let's continue with the next one. You can have your. Do you know what? Oh. Fix. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, very good, guys. So here is the structure. How do you? Alright. Uh, there you go. Okay, alright, guys. So, the first one, guys. Okay, the first one. Do me a favor. Everybody, write it down right now. Okay, write down the structure right now. It's over here. Right over here. Alright, so everybody, write it down. Write it down right now. Hey, it's raining. Yeah. It's really nice. No, it's not. Ah, uh, not where you are, but uh, <laughs> it's raining here, right? Good job, good job, right? All right, David, all right? Uh, let me see you writing, it ain't it, right? Let's go, Mauricio. Save me teacher when you finish, guys. If you finish, save me teacher, okay? Okay. All right. Ready, teacher. Very good, very good, okay? So we're good. All right, now, there. Uh, let's take a look at the structure for the passive form, okay? Now, very important, guys. This is um, when you get, guys, you're going to use infinitives. You're going to use? Infinitive. All right, so do my favor. Yes. Write down the structure we get right now, please. Plus infinitive verb. So get plus someone plus infinitive verb. Write it down, write it down, write it down. Right? I'll give you 30 seconds. Go. Good guys. So let's continue with the next one. All right, now the passive form. All right, do me a favor again, write it down. Because you're going to give me your own examples, okay? You got 30 seconds to write down the passive form and structure. You can have. All right, write it down in your number, guys. I'm gonna send a look. All right, by the way, guys, what is the difference here between the preposition at and by? Can we say uh, you can have your by fixed by the, um, by the mechanic? Can I say that? Can I say that? Can I say, guys? No. Yes, at guys. is, huh? By the mechanic or at the place, right? So you can have your bike fixed at the repair ch shop, for example, okay? So one, guys, is for place. One is for? Place. place. And the other one is for people. The other one is for? People. 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 people okay, so if, if someone specifically um, is going to help you, it is by, okay? Now, what about if it is a company, right? You can say, for example, um, you will have your car your car fixed by uh i don't know veronica's insurance okay you can use by not necessarily a, a person but that will be an entity as long as it as long as it is not a physical place you can use by got it ready got it yes got it. all right very good guys very good all right guys you're so quiet today what's up is it because it's raining <laughs> all right guys so that's pretty much it now. We're gonna give me you're gonna give me your own examples right now, guys. Okay? Super good. <clears throat> so let's work in couple guys. Five minutes, five minutes. I needed to talk. Um using both examples. Use the information that you have in your novel, guys. Okay. I want you to talk to me about having your car fixed, uh having your hair done. Girls, you know, if you go to the hair salon or I talk about your hair, uh or you know, guys too, right? So I need you to give me, to use both examples. I'm going to be checking on the rooms for five minutes, guys, okay? Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go.
I can't hear you. Yeah, I, I need that your audio. Your audio is not working. Abit, Abit, for qué? Oh, I, we can hear you now. Yes, go. Uh -huh. Continue, continue, continue. All right, let um, me hear you. <laughs> David. Oh, what? What happened? David. 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 Continue with your example. Because I can hear you. What? Continue, Neda. Go. Ah, okay. Uh, uh, habit or use can get or can have. Can have. Uh, yes. Oh. Yes. Uh, I can your dress offer new by an, an store. Okay, hold on. What are you trying to say? I'm not. I'm not really sure. Hold on. I'm gonna share the screen uh, right now. All you right. Just have. Uh huh. You can have. I can have my care repaid by uh, by mechanic. My care. What is a care? Car. 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 Repaired by, car. by mechanic. mechanic. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's that's a good example. All right, you got it. It's just pronunciation, Anita. All right, this yeah, works. Yeah. All right, uh, David, help me with pronunciation from Anita, okay? Good job. Continue, continue, continue. Okay. Okay, thanks. All right, let me hear you, girls. What's up? You can have your, your car. Watch him. It's okay, Fatima. I think. Sorry, I don't listen. Well, let me see. Could you repeat? You can have. Uh, you can have your watch. My car wash. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. Wash. Oh. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, all right. Let me. Uh, let me hear you, Fatima. Well, my mom gets the gets a uh, haircut at the beauty salon. Okay. Gets. Okay. Good job with the structure. Bad pronunciation. Haircut. Haircut, guys. Haircut. Haircut. How do you say it, Irene? Uh, same sentence. Or my sentence. Haircut. 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 All right, very good. So it's a haircut. Good job, good job. Continue, continue, continue. Thank you. Yep. All right, let me hear you. Uh, David, David, oh. uh, it was just two sentences, right? Two questions. One just, related to the haircut and the second one related to a... Uh, no, to whatever fix. you want. It's not only two. It's basically, I want both examples, but you can give me as many examples as you want. Right? Ah. All right. I mean, I want you to, I want you to use both, uh, both uh, structures, but with as many examples as you want. Okay? So just a regular conversation. Right? Ah, uh, okay. All right. Give me an example. Give me an example. Do you know where I can have someone cut my hair? Hair. All right. Do you know where I can have someone cut my hair? Yes. Is that okay. correct? That is absolutely correct. Again, uh, good job. Another one. Do you know where can I have someone fix my car? Okay. Now, do you know where I can have? Because uh, when you say yeah, do yeah, you, yeah, 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 yeah. One where I can have. Good yes, job, Andrew. There were two questions in one. All right, now, impossible. all right, sentences as well, okay? All right, so work on sentences. Not only okay. questions, right? Good job, man, good job. Hey, right. David. Tell me, Francisco. I have a, a big doubt, man. Tell me, um, right? In this instruction says, uh, write question using the active form or have and get using the information above. And number one says, sue my skirt. So when you write down the what are you, wait, wait, wait. The what are you doing, man? Uh, 
Oh, we're not doing we're not doing we're not doing 4.2 yet. We're not doing that yet. Uh oh yeah. yeah, yeah, don't worry, don't worry, okay? Uh it's okay. No, all you have to do is practice with your partner, right? Just give examples using the active and the passive form, uh using have or get, okay? That's all I want you to do okay. right now. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay, no problem. Yeah. All right, so give me an example, uh, Arturo. The active or uh, passive? Both. Both. Okay. Um, you can have uh, Tigo services fix your internet. Good job. Okay. You can have Tigo services fix your internet. Now, Francisco, <laughs> transform that into passive. Um, you can. You can have. Uh, you can have your internet services uh -huh. uh, repaired by Tigo. Good job, good job. You got it just fine. Okay, good job. All right, all right. plus for you guys. Good job, right? We're going to go back yeah, now, guys. Yeah. We're going to go back and we're going to start working on the exercise. Hold on. Good job, guys. Good job. Hey, guys. Nice job. Everybody was able to give an example with passive and active. Um, nobody did a mistake, guys. Like, regarding the structure, nobody really did a mistake. So, good job. Big round of applause for you, guys. Woo! Good job. Good job. Good job. Okay. Sorry, guys. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. So, you got the structure, guys. You got the structure. The only thing that uh, happened, the only thing, the only mistakes that I got, guys, was the pronunciation, right? You're still having a lot of issues with pronunciation, but other than that, guys, the structure was absolutely fine, okay? So now, guys, with what we learned, guys, if you do not have a question, all right, we're gonna go to do, we're gonna do, go ahead and do exercise 4.2. But before that, guys, do you have a question? Me, teacher, do you have a question? Me, teacher. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Um, I feel confused because in the for active, uh -huh. for, the, for the question, we can use have and get, or get. Yes. But the verb is in the base form. Base form. Yes. And you can also use it in passive form. It depends on how you want to say it. In the passive, we can use have or get, but the base, it, but, the, but the verb is in the participle. Exactly. If, you, if you're talking with passive, yes. If okay. It, passive, it has to be past participle. Yes. Okay. Thank you. All right. Any other question, guys? Any other question? All right. So, uh, so if you don't have any other question, guys, let's go ahead and get started with the exercise two. I mean, four point two, guys. So let's go ahead and do four point two. All right. Thank you. You have seven minutes to finish four point two. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Join Jose. I think we are going to do the four point two, right? Yes, four point two, yes. Okay. There you go. There you go. You good, guys? Do you know the meaning? Of, uh, sorry, David. What is the meaning of Sue? Sue. Sue yeah. is like your grandmother suing your pants or your mom or you doing it. Like, so like repairing? Like repairing? 
yeah, but you don't say repair my pants. <laughs> yeah, but it's like just for understanding. You got it, you got it, you got it, yes. All right. Uh, okay. Yeah. Sentences with the, for example, with the see, see my score. That's see fun. my score. Hello, Anna, welcome. <laughs> Hi. Anna. Hey, uh, okay. Hello. Their microphone doesn't work. Okay. Uh, yeah, we, it's working now. It's working now, Anna. Uh, yes. I, listen, I can listen. Yes, can I can. Yeah, we can yes, hear you. Yes. I can hear you. Okay. Thank let's go. Let's go. What number is? The first part. First part. The instructions, the instructions, write questions using the active form of have and get using the, the information about each space. Uh, the first one is, hmm, see my skirt. 4.2. Uh huh, the first one. Uh, yeah, this. Uh... Right question uses the active form or how um kept using the information about each space. That's right? Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Active form. You have a you have an answer? I think about it. Uh, my skirt. Mm. I don't know uh, what happened with the platform uh, when Java, I Java. Yeah. I have a problem teacher when I uh, try uh, escribir, right? I try to type in. Uh, out, se sale, cierra. Mm. Are, you, are you using Google Chrome? <laughs> yes, Google Chrome. All right. Well, uh, teacher, uh, I'm sorry. Um, lo voy a escribir aparte. But um, active forum. What is the forum? Did you just did you just come? Did you just come. I got the yard. Right, we explained that. We explained that. Right. David, David, uh, did you understand? Yes. All right, David will explain it to you, okay? Because I gotta check on the other guys, right? Let's go, David. Okay. And that's the example, but uh, in no case, uh, it's other, either other bear in base form. Any questions, girls? No, no teacher, thank you. Sorry, sounds, sounds good, sounds good. Sorry. Hey, Hello. what's up, man? Uh, David, I have, well, I tried to, to, to do the, this exercise before the, uh, starting the class, mm -hmm. and I got most of the answers wrong. For example, in the number four, that the exercise fix my scooter. Mm -hmm. I thought, I thought, yes. Um, the answer could be, do you know where I can have someone fix my scooter? Is that correct or is not correct? All right, the thing is this, okay? When you use have, I, 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 I said something during the class. Do you remember? I told you when you use have, you have to use a. Ah, uh, the preposition. Well, the, 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 the base the infinitive. The infinitive. There you go. Oh. All right. You can either say get or have, but if you use have, the only difference is that you have to use an infinitive. Let me see. All right. All right. All right. Do me a favor. Don't share your don't share your answers. Okay. You have to. No, I right. I am not sharing the answer. All right. Nubia, how are you doing, Nubia? Uh, it's raining. <laughs> yeah, it's house. raining. Yes, I'm, I'm, I love it. Do you like it? Yes. Yeah. All right, very good, right? So, Eduardo, did it, did it work for you? 
Yes. All right, very good, very good. That was the, my mistake. Sorry. All right, explain Nubia, okay? Help Nubia, right? No, but I got another one wrong. Tell me, tell me, tell me. The number five uh -huh. is take my passport, my passport photo. So I have, do you know where I can have someone to take my passport photo? And it's wrong. Okay. Now, the thing is that we take it's different, man. The take, oh, come take, on. <laughs> take, take will be the only exception, right? All right. Do you know where I can have someone? But I got it someone? without two as yeah. well. Okay, no, but without two is the right answer. But it's wrong in my, in my no, it screen be wrong. is taken as wrong make because sure I have it. Make sure I that have you're it. Using, all right. Make sure that you're using capital letters and the question mark, okay? I am doing that. Okay. Do you know where I can have somebody, someone take my passport photo? Someone take my passport photo? Okay, let me try again. Yes, it's wrong. All right, try. Do you know where I can get someone take my passport uh, photo? I can get, let me see. Make sure the spelling is correct, okay? Okay. My God, it's raining and I'm working. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna be able to enjoy the rain. Is the best answer, teacher? Tell me, my God. Help us. <laughs> what happened there? <laughs> Sorry, the the structure is have maximum blocks day four. Bet. Day for bet. All right, remember you can use either get or have, but the only difference with have is that you have to use infinitives. Remember that? Infinitives, right? Now, if you're using if you're using the active form, it is base form. If you're using the passive form, it is it is uh, past participle. Okay. Uh-huh. In this case, uh, for for we and uh, all right now read the instructions. Let me read the instructions. Right question. Can you? Okay, so what is the first mistake according to what you just read? What is the first mistake? There. Mm. All right, read the instructions again. Read the instructions again. Uh -huh. What is this question? Question using. The active is do you can? Exactly, right? Questions, can. not sentences. Questions, okay? Yes. All right. Do you can. Uh, no, do you can? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> do you I know, can. can you? I know. All can right. you? Very good job. Very good job, okay? Can so you? Uh, it's, it's bad always. Can you remember, hey, Anubia, uh, and Ada, and Irene, did you write down the structure? Yes, teacher. All right, so use the structure. You're not using the structure. Can you have, remember, have plus? Okay. Have, uh, someone, someone is. Someone. All right. Someone is with. Someone, someone, just someone. Uh, are you? Are you? Are you? No, what, what? No, 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 no. That's, all right, Anita, help her with the structure, okay? Do you have it in your notebook, guys? Be honest, do you have it? Yes. All right, what is the structure, Anita? Can, can, can you have? Can you have, okay. Can you have? Uh -huh. can, can you have? Can you have? Okay. Um, your. Can you have your? I'm gonna I'm gonna teach you. Okay, okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna teach you the. I'm gonna give you the answer for the first one. Okay, and then you continue with the rest. You can either say, "Do you know where I can get someone to my skirt?" Or you can say, "Do you know where I can have someone to my skirt?" Okay, 
¿sabes dónde puedo encontrar a alguien que pueda remendar mi... mi... Sue, guys, es tejer, ¿ok? Mm -hmm. Sue, skirt, ¿ok? Ah, do, right. you know? do you do you know do you know where do you know do you know mm -hmm. where i can it's all good all good yeah baby all right did you finish we are fixed the life Okay, right. did, did you finish? the muffin. All right. <laughs> the, no, teacher, we, we, we have a problem with the internet right now, and the, and the rain is very, the rain is oh. very noisy. And I, 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 I get in and go out. All right, all right, we're gonna, we're gonna go back now, and we're gonna try to solve it together, okay? Okay. All right, sounds good. Yes. All right, guys. So, very good. What is the... Okay, guys. So, uh, thank you, guys, because most of you finished. So, let's work on this together, okay? Remember, guys, to use the structure. So, um... First one, okay. Um, let's see who did not finish. Say me, me teacher. Whoever did not finish, say me teacher. Me teacher. Me hey, teacher. Right. Very good, Eduardo. All right, Eduardo. Um, actually, uh, yeah, Eduardo. Um, help me with the answer on the first one. The first one is. Let me get it. Everyone, repeat. Sue. Sue. No. Sue. What is Sue? Sue, guys, yeah. is tejedation, right? Cuando tejen la ropa. Okay, let's go. Ah, Eduardo, let's see. Do you know, do you know <laughs> where I can have someone sue my skirt? Very good. Do you know where I can have someone? Remember, have plus someone. And then what, uh, Eduardo? Sue, right? Sue. My, my skirt. skirt, okay. Ooh, my skirt. All right. Or you can say, guys, do you know where I can get? Both of them would be correct, guys. Okay, I can get someone. Now, what? What would be the the mistake here? The there is no mistake. The infinity. Yes. Infinity, right? But 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 if you just have, if you if you just get, you do not use an infinity, okay? All right, there is an exception though. There is an exception, but let's let's take a look at that. In the oh, wrong. In the scenario, the verb. No, no, the 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 question, question mark. Question mark. All right, very good. So see, so do you know where I can get someone to my skirt? Okay, so that will be the right answer. Right, but let's start with have. All right, to sue. My skirt is without two. In the, in the, in the base case, the verbs is yes. nothing past All right, this should be this should be with infinity, guys. In this case, it should be with infinity, but let's try it without it, okay? All right. Yeah, so, I know. That, that was that was my question before, David. The thing right. is that uh, for me, it's a mistake because you have to put the article. Yeah, the yeah. Verb in infinity. You have to you have to use the the um the verb in infinity here, but. Mm -hmm. Good job. Just put it like, just put it like with get guys and move on. Okay. All right. Okay. Cut my hair. All right. Who's got to cut my hair? Me, All teacher. Right. Okay. All right. Continue. Go. Do you know where I can have someone cut my hair? Okay. Cut my hair. Did you get that right? Yes, I do. All right, all right. Let's just get, guys, okay? You're using have all the time. I, I want you to use get, okay? <laughs> All right, Eduardo, pick someone else. Go. Uh, Neda. Hey, Neda, let's go, Neda. Number three. Please, um, uh, 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 the, the screen go, is a, a little bit. 
Let's go. Zoom in. <laughs> Zoom in. Oh, you want to know? Zoom in? Okay. Do you know where? Uh -huh. I can uh -huh. have uh -huh. someone uh -huh. repay my watch. My watch, okay. All right, very good, very good. All right, uh, would that be okay, guys? Do you think that that would be okay? Yes, that would be absolutely yes. fine, okay. Oh, <laughs> all right, super good. All right, uh, Nada, pick someone, guys. Let's uh, just get, let's just get, okay. Uh, Jose, 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 let's go, Jose. Okay, do you know? Huh? Do you know where I can have where? Where is where? 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 Right? But where? Okay, good job. Huh? Where? <laughs> where? You just get, man. You just where get. I can, where, where I can get? Uh huh? Someone mm -hmm. fix my scooter. Fix my scooter, okay? Let's see if that is correct. All right, so what? Oh, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I always forget the question, Mike. Good job. All right, very good, man. Very good. All right, uh, pick someone else. Go. Uh, Veronica. Veronica, let's go, Veronica. Uh, do you know where I can have someone uh, take my passport photo? My passport photo, okay. All right. Very good job, right? Uh, pick someone else. Mm. Use get, guys. Stop using have now. Let's go. Selena. Selena. Who's Selena? Selena. Yes. Oh, yeah. Selena de Morales. Hello. How are you? I didn't see you. Hello, Hello Selena. Number six, Selena. Do you know? Huh? Do you know? Where I can mm -hmm. so where I can where what? I can have someone where I can all right don't use have anymore. It's okay, but don't use have well, okay where I can get someone mm -hmm. massage my neck. Um uh, okay. All right, let's see, all right. Good job. The structure, the structure is good. I would say you could, it, it would have sound, sounded better if you used an infinity there, but it took the answer. So good job. All right. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry because you were using get. I'm sorry. Uh, pick someone else. Selena, go. Um, Arturo. Arturo. Let's go. Arturo, number seven. Number seven. Let me see. Uh, um, do you know someone? Uh, oh, 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 sorry. Do you know where huh? I can get huh? my leather jacket? I can get. Someone. Do you know where I can get someone? Someone to clean my leather jacket. Okay. I right. remember no infinites with get right. Someone clean my leather jacket. Okay. All right, let's see if it accepts. Okay, very good, all right? Uh, number eight, uh, last one, okay? Me teacher. Let's go, just anyone. <clears throat> last one, last one, last one. Uh, Francisco. Where are you, Francisco? Oh, Francisco's not here. Uh, let's go, Mauricio. Okay. Va, pero estoy conectada en internet. Ay, Mauricio. <laughs> Ana, let's go, Ana. No, es Number eight. Do you know where I can? Mm -hmm. Where I can? Where I can uh, get someone take care of my pets. While I'm away, 
Okay, good pronunciation. Good job. Okay. All right, we're missing the question mark here. Let's see if that is correct. There you go. Mm -hmm. Applause for you guys. Good job. Good job. Good job. Okay. Good job, guys. Can you please repeat the last one. Go, go, Anna. Anna, Anna is the teacher. Go, teacher Anna. What happened? Can you please repeat the last one? Do you know where I can get someone uh, take care of my pets while my open? All right, now what happened with the pronunciation? While everyone, while I'm away. Why? While I'm away. While I'm away. Good job. We're on our way. All right, you. questions, guys, questions? No questions? All right, very good, very good, very good. Help me read the objective, um, Selena. Let's some objective. In this class, you will learn three more phrasal verbs in order to increase your vocabulary and to help you exactly. talk about service and dating. Very good. Everyone, vocabulary. 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 Okay, very good. Okay. All right, so three word phrasal verbs, guys. So what, first of all, guys, what are phrasal verbs? What is a phrasal verb? Guys, a phrasal verb is a verb that is structured by three words. It's a word. No, it's it's a verb. Okay, it's a verb that contains two or three words together. Okay. So they mean something different. So for example, get up, right? Get up has one and two, right? Um, up. Wake up, right? Stand up, stand down, sit down. Uh, another one, give me another one, Ineda. Um, sit down. Look for. Um, look, okay, look. Look forward, okay. Look forward, huh? Look Another one. Forward. Get along. Get along, okay. Get, get along, okay. Get along. All right. Another one, uh, Neda. Mm -hmm. <laughs> huh? I don't remember, teacher. Anna, let's go, Anna. Woke up. Huh? Uh, okay, that is the past of wake up. Uh huh. <laughs> huh? I don't know. Take up. Take down. Cut off. Cut off, okay. Cut get out. out. Get out. Get in. Uh, get on. Mm -hmm. Get away. <laughs> Run away. What else? What else, guys? Put off. All right, get off, okay? Get off, All right? Get has like a thousand, guys, okay? Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up, okay? Very good. Hurry up. So, guys, mm -hmm. Did you understand what phrasal verbs are? Yes. Right. All right, so it, it's composed of two or three words, right? Super good, guys. So, so let's get some phrasal verbs. All right, everybody take your notebook because I'm going to ask you later. All right, that you can. Oh, can you listen? Can you not listen? No. no. Oh, I am sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. I am so sorry. Let's go. Hi. As you know, and before, we use phrasal verbs a lot in English. This time, we'll show you a list of three words, phrasal verbs, that you may use when talking about services and dating. Work with me and stay and find out what we want you to do. Listen to the following list of three phrasal verbs. Then I will use them in a sentence so you have a better idea of what they mean. Take okay, guys, so what, in what situations can we use these phrasal verbs on? She said it. When we're, when we're talking about what? Nobody got it? All right, listen to it again. Listen to it again. 
experts phrasal verbs that you may use when talking about services and dating. When talking about what, guys? Services, services and dating. Services, services and, dating. and dating. Good job, okay? All right, dating. 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 All right, everyone repeat. Broken up with. Broken, Broken up, up with. with. Up with. All with. right, very good, guys. So, la Broken up with. with. Right? Cuando vos le decís, no soy vos, soy yo. <laughs> right? That is break. All right, what is the... What is the base form of broken up with? Because this is the past participle. What is the base break form? Up. Break, break up. Break up with. They want break up with. Break, break up, up with. with. Break up with. Okay, right. All right, now guys, do not say I broke with my girlfriend, with my boyfriend, with my girlfriend. Say I broke broke up. Okay. Break is not the same as break up. Okay. They want came up with. Came up with. with. All right. This is when you want to be a little bit chambroso, right? A little bit of a gospel. What? Y vieras con lo que salió. If you knew what he came up with, right? Everyone repeat. If you knew, if you knew what, you know. what he came up with. If he, if you, if you, came All right. I want Eva. I want to hear everyone. If you knew what he came up with. If you knew, if you knew what, you, what he came up with. with. Literalmente, guys, eso quiere decir si supieras con lo que salió. Right? Uh -huh. Yeah, right? Very good. All right, good job, guys. Good job, bro. Everyone, looking forward to. Looking forward, forward, forward to. to. All right, now this one, guys, is very interesting, okay? Looking forward to, guys, is a whole preposition. It's a whole? Preposition. It's a whole preposition, guys. Preposition. Okay. All right, I'm looking forward, quiere decir realmente um, me gustaría, que okay? realmente me gustaría, o espero, ok? Espero, realmente espero. How do you say realmente espero trabajar con usted? I'm, I'm looking, looking forward, forward to work, to work, work with you. Work. All right, now, everybody, working? everybody got a zero right now, ok? Why? <laughs> All right, I'm looking forward to... Working. 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 Working for you. Yes, guys. I know this is very confusing because we have an we have basically the study of an infinitive here. But this is all taken as a preposition because it's a phrasal verb. And as a phrasal verb, we have to use ing form. Okay. No se confunda, guys. Just make just remember when you say looking forward to, you have to use ing. You have to use ing. ING. All right, very good, right? Uh, I'm looking forward. How how else can we? Do ING. It? How else can we say looking forward to? Yeah, I'm looking forward to. Cuando cuando la conoce o lo conoces en Facebook y lo vas a ver en un lugar. ¿Cómo cómo le cómo dirías? I'm looking forward to. Meeting. Okay. Meeting you. Okay. Very good. Meeting you. Okay. All right. Or or. Day. Bien. Take a look at my at the camera. Or I'm looking Seeing forward you. to. Seeing you. Seeing you. Good job. Okay, I'm looking to see. Got it, guys? Got, Got it? it. All Got right, it. very good. All right, everyone, cut down on. Cut down on. All right, keep up with. Keep up, keep up with. Up with. Cut down on, guys. Cut down is, let's say yeah, that you're a, you're a, an alcoholic, right? So soon, um, un bolito, right? All right. Cut down is bajarle, okay? Or oh, oh, parar completamente. You gotta cut down on alcohol. Everyone, you gotta. You gotta. Cut down on alcohol. Cut down, cut down on, on alcohol. alcohol. All right, very good, right? Yeah. But not beer, guys, not beer. <laughs> All right, very good. All right, everyone, keep up with. Keep up, up with. with. All right. Keep up everyone, with. Repeat, keeping. Keeping. Up with the Kardashians. Up with the Kardashian. With the keep Kardashian. up with the Kardashians, right? So keep up with something, yeah, guys. Yeah. Keep up with seguir, okay? Right? Seguir el ritmo, okay? Mm -hmm. All right? Seguir el ritmo a las Kardashians. <coughs> All right, good job, guys. All right, everyone, put up with. Put, put up, up with. with. All right, put up with, guys, please. Everyone repeat. I don't have to put up with you. I don't, I don't have to put up with you. All right, to put up, guys, means to lidiar. What is it? Lidiar. All right, put up with this, okay? So far, so good, guys. Any questions? Any questions? No? No. Okay, very good job, guys. I told you guys, you're very smart. Okay, um, David. What's your favorite color, David? 
My favorite color is black. All right, your favorite color is black. Arturo, your eyes are black. Give me a phrasal verb with uh, break up with. I mean, give me a sentence. I'm sorry. Give me a sentence with break up with. Uh, uh, example with? Yes, with break with up with. Break up with, or? Wait, yeah, with break up with, yes. Uh, my friend has break up with her company. Very good job, very good job. Has, has break up, guys? Has break up, break up? Broken. Broken, Broken right? Past participle. Okay, good job, mm -hmm. right? So, guys, let's read the examples. Um, Veronica, Veronica, the last, okay. And Ada, go, first one, go. Jennifer has broken up with her boyfriend again. All right, but but come on, give me give me intonation. Right? Like you're telling you're telling your best friend, mira, aquí has rompió con aquel, right? Right. You yeah. know, like, <laughs> Jennifer has broken up with her boyfriend again. Good job, Ada. Good job. Plus for Navy, guys. Good job. Good job, Ada. Right. Very good. Right. Ada, pick someone. Pick someone beautiful. Anna. Anna, let's go, Anna. Um, Kevin came up with a great idea for our class re reunion. Re everyone, reunion. 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 Yeah. Came up with, okay, good job, right? Uh, Anna, pick someone who likes to eat tacos. What? Pick someone who likes to eat tacos. Ah. Uh, Maybe Veronica. <laughs> Veronica, let's go. <laughs> I like to eat tacos. I love it. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> From lips. <laughs> From lips, yeah. Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's go, Veronica. I'm not looking forward to typing my C. Maybe I'll get it done professional. All right, look, guys. Look, look, look. It's what I was telling you. Got it? <laughs> ING form, right? Type. Good job, good job. I right, picked someone who likes to... Type in. Likes to, who likes to type in? Yes. Pick someone who likes to type in. Uh, Jose. Jose, let's go, Jose. Let's go, Jose. Wake up, Jose. Eduardo, let's go. <laughs> My doctor says I'm overweight. I should cut down on fatty foods. All right, see you guys, cut down on, right? Keep the, the hardly, right? Keep the hard day, right? Overweight, what is overweight? Overweight is when you like a lot of tacos, right? Overweight is over the peso, guys, okay? Mexican food. All right. All right, very good, okay? Uh, Eduardo, pick someone, Eduardo. Pick uh, Fatima, pick Fatima. Fatima. Let's go, Fatima. Okay. Um. Rob can't keep up with the student in his Mandarin class. He should get a tutor. Good job. He should get a tutor. Good job. Uh, Fatima, pick someone else. Um, let me see. Ana Hiron. Ana Hiron, let's go. Another one. Okay. I can't put out with the noise on my street. All right. No puedo aguantar, right? No puedo lidiar. Okay. Good job. Good job. Good job. All right, guys, so uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Phrasal verbs, guys, it's just a matter of practicing, okay? It's just a matter of practicing. practicing. All right, so there's no rule for that, guys. No regla para eso. It's just the way that it is. Uh, the more you practice, the more that you're going to learn. Tomorrow, guys, do me a favor, guys. No se adelante, okay? All right, do not, do not <laughs> um, go too far ahead. All right, so we can work on this together. So tomorrow, guys, we're going to finish, tomorrow we're going to finish section four, and then uh, on, yeah, tomorrow is Thursday, right? Yes. Uh, and then on Monday, guys, we're going to do number five, okay? And if we need to review something, we're going to review it. Other than that, guys, it's a pleasure having you guys. Thank you very much. Take care of yourself. Enjoy the rain, guys. Enjoy the rain, all right? Thank you, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Have a good night. Bye-bye, guys.